what's happening in HD Nation? Sorry, there's a little thing in the background. Uh, what's happening in HD Nation? This is Zach Edwards with another Stump the Creator. This time we're going to be talking about my buddy, Nikola Tesla. Okay, so the question comes in from, uh, oh, this is the question. Remember I told you there was a stump coming up. That they had it in uh, the tournaments and they all asked me at the same time. I said, this would be a great Stump the Creator. And they said, wait, stop, don't, don't answer the question. Forget you even asked, because they wanted to ask it in a stump. So they've emailed me, and this is from Luke, Nash, and Bethany. So these are the three that were part of this question. And when they were asking the question, we realized it would be a great stump. So let's see if they can stump me. I have not thought of it, I promise you. I have not thought of it since they asked it. So I don't remember what they are. Oh, I guess there's two of them. Okay, there wasn't two before, but maybe they just added a different, a dis, additional one in there. So from Luke, uh, Nash, and Bethany, I have to keep last names out. Number one, I played Cold Space War, Cold War Space War, Space Race, and someone reversed it with the Nikola Tesla from the miniature set. Can I discard the Space Race after it's been in play for one round? That's a good question. So let's go to the Space Race. Okay. I was actually trying to find this earlier for one of the other stumps. Again, I don't have it for, I didn't look it up for um, for this contest or for this this question. It was, I was asking it for someone else, something else. Okay, so going into my background because I can't find them in the stacks. Uh, let's see, card library, okay. Space race. Do, 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 do. Here it is. Space race it says Apollo 11's success discourages your opponent, decrease all opponents' morale by 100 each turn until a technology is played. Okay, so the question is can I discard this <clears throat> after it's been played? Okay, uh, I played Cold War race, space race, and someone reversed it with the Nikola Tesla. So instead of them losing, it would be now the owner losing 100 morale each turn until the technology is played. Ownership. We were talking about this in uh, a previous one. O reversing it is not ownership. So you still have ownership in it. Um, so it's whoever owns it can discard it at any time, not the first round. I mean, that's what the rules say, right? Right? So the rules can say that you can re remove it. But there's something else that has to do with this card. It says in here, maybe I should show you this. There you go. So right here, it says the Apollo 11's um, success discourages your opponents, decrease all opponents' morale, by 100 each turn until a technology is played. Okay, so in here, I would say, oh, sorry. I would say if it was up to what opponents morale by here by 100, yeah, you could probably just get rid of it, but this is a constant and infinite, and it says each round until a technology is played. So there's an actual stipulation on this event. Um, it does not say that you can just. Uh, discard a card. So looking up in the rules, I didn't see anything against her just, and this is Bethany, I know this, is, she was the one playing it, um, removing this card from play after it was versed on her because of ownership. I remember we've, we've been hitting on this fairly hard when it comes to this game. If you own the card, you control the card and you can discard it anytime you want. But if it's reversed on someone else, it has to stay in play at least one turn because it's been reversed. It's the effects have actually played its place. Um, it, uh, the question continues. This, I guess it's the second question. It says, if I play two normal non-interrupt cards and I play two, wait, wait, wait. If I play two non-interrupt cards and I play two interrupts in reaction, can I play my last non-interrupt card. Okay, 
So this one, I'm going to side with Bethany. She actually tried to discard it afterwards. It is ownership. It is her ownership. So yeah, sadly, it does not work the same way as if it was an opponent doing it. So it's like if I had a technology that did the same thing, would you agree that the technology could be pulled? I mean, yes, it's an event, but it's just like a technology or any other card that says, here's the event, it's a constant and infinite, but the ownership is still the same. Ownership stays with the person that played it, unless a card says to confiscate or take it. Um, the second question, I'm gonna take this off. The second question is, <clears throat> sorry, if I play two normal non-interrupt cards. Okay, so I play, in my turn, I have three cards I can play. I play boom, one, boom, two, and then there's a third card. Okay, so the third card is an interrupt. So does that play as an actual normal card? Well, what was my question is what ha would happen if you put the interrupt first and then you played two cards? It'd still be three cards that you can play. It doesn't matter if they're interrupts or non-interrupts. Three cards that you can play during your turn. Now, as we said in, in the tournaments, if there's a time where someone attacks you, you could play an interrupt as a fourth or fifth card because it's in response to somebody else attacking you. Now, I want to get your comments because this is how we ruled in the tournament. I want to see what your comments are in the comments below. Does this actually apply? Is this the right way of, of judging this? Because I would say if you play two normal cards and an interrupt, all the cards are still the three cards that you can play. The other ones have to be uh, interrupts. You can't just play two cards that are not interrupts, two interrupts, and oh, I have a third one that's not interrupt. So for this one, and this was again Bethany that was asking this question. Um, she was playing against Luke and uh, Nash, but um, still that fifth card has to be an interrupt if you're going to play it, and it has to be in response to someone else. So, but the, the reason why they ask this question, it gets a little more deeper than that. They're asking this question because if someone played an interrupt that would have stopped her and she had to play an interrupt to reverse something that, that to stop their interrupt. So if their interrupt was not in response to some, uh, that doesn't matter what response because it's not on their turn. Um, so if they played it in order to stop her from playing her third card, non interrupt card, the card that she really wanted to play, and then she reversed and then maybe did another reverse. So those were the, third and fourth card. The fifth card was what, what's important to her. She really wanted to play that third card, which now become the fifth card because they interrupted you and you had to play those cards. But this is where choice comes down. You actually have to choose. Am I gonna play the interrupt or am I gonna play the, the card that I really wanna play? So I can take the abuse of um, the card that my opponent is playing against me, the interrupt that my opponent is playing against me. And I could play an interrupt or a regular card to stop that but I'm giving up the, the chance to, to play my last third card. Could have been a morale count, uh, morale points that would have made me win the game. Well, that's where you have to make the choice. You're probably gonna lose morale if you don't reverse it or stop someone's attack, interrupt attack on you. But at the same time, um, so you lose points then, or you're gonna lose the fifth card. You might wanna just hold on to that fifth card for the next turn. Hopefully you win. But at the same time, you don't know. So that's the that's the ruling as it comes down for Luke, Nash, and Bethany. As for the Cold War, um, yeah, the it's I guess I didn't have time to think about that this one, but I answered this basically two turns ago, and so I'd have to contradict what I said before. So Bethany still owns that card it's still in her possession even if it's been reversed and that's the main part if it's been reversed it's still not yours that other person owns that card still and so they can discard it when they want there's only a few cards that say you cannot discard until the, this moment uh rasputin can't it, you can't attack, kill it yourself you can't discard it yourself um uh, ha, uh folker folks um guy folks He's also one that you can't do it until the land changes hands. So the card doesn't say you can't discard it. So we go with the rules and Bethany won that, that play. Uh, at the same time, that's not a stump. Sorry, it, it, was, it was close to a stump. And I will give you guys honorable mention. 
uh, Luke, Nash, and Bethany for, for that. So I will send those uh, honorable mentions out. Again, um, I didn't think about it before, and there's a lot of things going on. So I, I thought it was a great stump. That was a possible good stump. But if I'm going to go with what I had just ruled three videos ago, I think, um, then I got to be consistent. So thanks so much for joining me on this uh, Stump the Creator. We will catch you next time. Thanks. Bye. If you have any comments or questions, add them to the comments below. Otherwise, we'll see you next. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow, actually. Take care. Bye.